Bernard Lynch worked as a, an engineering fitter. He was a larger-than-life figure by all accounts and bravely volunteered to be the, the guinea pig. The seat's explosives are triggered by pulling down a protective face blind. Lynch makes a series of grueling tests, like a human cannonball. He's thrust harder and faster until the pain becomes too intense. But his endurance proves invaluable. At the Air Crew Biodynamics and Protection Unit at the United States Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Chris Perry understands why. For the design of the seat to work properly, you have to balance the energy that the seat generates to push the pilot out with the energy that we know that will cause damage to the spine. As the seat accelerates upwards, gravity pulls the pilot downwards, compressing the spine. The speed at which the propulsive force is applied is critical. Apply the force too quickly, and the spine won't have time to absorb it, resulting in injury. Meaning ruptured discs and fractured vertebrae, which can uh, obviously be very painful for the pilot. And if the fractures are severe enough, you can get severed spine, which could lead to paralysis. Incredibly, Lynch's bravery doesn't stop with the ground tests. On July 24th, 1946, he volunteers for the first aerial test of Martin Baker's ejection seat. Bernard, while smoking one or two cigarettes, bravely strode out to the uh, Gloucester Meteor F3, strapped himself in the ejection seat, uh, a short wave of the hand, and the aircraft taxied away. Traveling over 300 miles an hour, at around 8,000 feet, Lynch ejects out of the aircraft. He then had to manually separate himself from the seat, full clear of the seat, and then manually pull his parachute. And that whole process took around 30 seconds. He safely descended to the ground and was greeted as a hero. Lynch doesn't eject just once, but 30 times allowing Martin Baker to produce their first flight production ejection seat, the MB Mark I. 